Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and this is the Frontline Changes Report. There is quite a number of frontline changes. We're going to go on from the Kursk front and then we're going to go uh, clockwise direction. So, so at the Kursk front, the Ukrainian mapping have acknowledged the loss of the grounds, the incursion around Gordievka. So, uh, wrong color. So the previously they claimed to have uh, positions over at Uspenovka and they were at Gordievka. And uh, this was never acknowledged by the Russian side. And uh, in the latest mapping by the Ukrainian side, they have acknowledged that they have lost these positions. The Russians have resecured all of the border regions around Gordievka. So this is the claim, uh, this, uh, this is the concession from the Ukrainian mapping. So the next frontline change is over at Doreno. So uh, at Doreno, the latest geolocation of Russian forces confirmed that the Russian forces have captured uh, Darino. So they have captured uh, all of Darino. I, my mapping is not complete, so I will add it later. So uh, Darino has fallen to the Russians. Previous geolocation was just in the south. So uh, this basically sums up the entire Darino uh, fully captured by the Russian forces. Unless you want to consider this, you no, know, uh, yeah, this parking lot, you no, know, <laughs> as part of uh, Darino. So that's all from uh, the Kursk front. The next front line change, we jump all the way to the south of Kupians, uh, which is the Pischani front. At this area here, Ukrainian mapping have updated the mapping around Kulyakivka, uh, where the Russian forces have basically secured all of the shores, the eastern uh, eastern banks of the Oskil rivers, all the way from Kolonyskivka all the way to Kulyakivka. Uh, so securing securing all of these areas here. So uh, this just uh, this front line change around here. The total length. Uh, is around no 3.7 kilometers of uh, grounds are uh, being secured. Uh, the next front line change we jump all the way to the uh, Pokrovsk front. Over at the Pokrov front, uh, Russian forces have been geolocated southeast of the Chensky. Uh, this means that the Russian forces have secured and captured a lot of grounds, uh, strengthening or no securing the front line, moving in the direction of the Chensky. So uh, this is one front line change around here, south of the Chensky. Uh, around this uh, very complicated uh, PPY region, the Petrivka, Pustinka, you know, uh, Yudevka region, Russian forces continue to advance in this area. Uh, they have moved. They have uh, moved on to the lake, moving in the direction of Zofte, capturing some more grounds without capturing uh, Petrivka. Well, south of Pustinka, the Russian forces ignored the entire village and stormed towards the next tree line. Uh, so this is mapped by the Ukrainian mapping. Very, very peculiar uh, front line changes around here. South of Pustinka, uh, which I'm going to move in this way. Uh, the Russian forces have, uh, have also advanced in the uh, around Yurivka. Similar, similar situation, they ignored Yurivka and would just move west in the direction of uh, Pushkine. So this is the front line changes around the, the Pokrov uh, front. After the uh, this area, we have frontline changes over at Bereski. Uh, Russian forces continue their battle of Bereski, capturing more of Bereski, uh, which is north of the Kurakivsky uh, Reservoir. So uh, this is a continuation of the battle. Ukrainians continue to hold a uh, do their best to defend this line as uh, I have mentioned many many times in the situation report and the conclusions why this is important. I'm not going to rehash again. So and then we go into the craziest situation uh, is, which is over in the Uspenivka front. Uh, the collapse of the entire Uspenivka salience continue. Russian forces have entered into Romanivka and as they kept secured and captured the rest of this area here. Uh, this northern area here, this lighter pink area, was previously claimed by the Russians to have captured. Ukrainian mapping was did not corroborate that yesterday. Uh, in the latest report, they have corroborated that they have the Russians have indeed taken this area. The Russian forces also entered Ilinka and captured mo half of the, the settlement. And the Russians have also entered into Yelizavetivka from the southeast and captured most of the outskirts in the south of Yelizavetivka, including the forest or uh, the forest plantation in the southwest of uh, Yelizavetivka. So the, the this entire salient continued to collapse. Ukrainian mapping claims that there is a salient, uh, there is a uh there is still some kind of uh, like a Ukrainian presence at Katerinivka. Uh, they draw a gray zone in that sense. But if you based on our mapping, it would mean that they are encircled at Katerinivka. I believe there's no more Ukrainian troops there. I think that's just cope. Uh, and the fact that there is all this uh, very 
uh, weird place. I don't believe they are there. I believe that the Ukrainian forces is already on the mass withdrawal out of Uspenivka. As I've already mentioned many, many times in previous report and analysis that this front line is not healdable. It's not possible to hold for the Ukrainians. They're going to withdraw from all these areas. So the collapse is real and uh, it's unfortunate for the Ukrainians, but this is just how it is. So uh, this is the Uspenivka uh, front collapse. Uh, the, and um, and then the next front line change uh, is over at the Velikin Nova Circle sector. This area here also is suffering a major collapse. Over at the Rosdone region, the Russian forces have entered into Rosdone, starting the Battle of Rosdone. And the entire eastern part, uh, eastern outskirts, is on, entirely fully captured by the Russian forces. This is mapped by the Ukrainian mapping. They have acknowledged the Russian advance in this area, corroborating uh, most of the Russian claims. And um, they have also linked up with the Joe location that was previously uh, mapped yesterday. And uh, the Russian forces is now looking at uh, enveloping Rosdone from the south as well. Uh, so this the Russians are going to attack from a different vector while they are pushing from the east. And uh, according to, to the Russian mapping, they have, of course, you know, going from the north. So you no know, situation is looking dire for the Ukrainians over at the Rosdone. The last frontline change is around in the Velika Novosilka uh, region. Russian forces, according to the Ukrainian mapping, have advanced to this point. However, based on Russian mapping, uh, it's a bit even further. They have basically, uh, at, basically at the entrance and fully secure, securing most of this uh, entire region. Uh, in this uh, east and the southeast of Velika Novosilka. So Russian forces is now about to start the battle of Velika Novosilka. Ukrainian forces is going to find it really hard. Velika Novosilka is break up by the rivers into multiple sectors. So uh, there's various pieces of land uh, like uh, that, that basically you no know, breaks up the entire city. So the Russians have multiple vectors that they can attack from. So we shall see how this continue to play out. Uh, but definitely this is a uh, very, very big in terms of the frontline uh, changes in this area. So, um, and now uh, we, if you look at the, the total areas captured at the Kursk front, where the concession uh, around Gordievka is 13.229 square kilometers. The Kupians front uh, with the capturing of the, of the river side is around 1.72 square kilometers. Pokrov front uh, with mainly over the four of the regions in the southeast of the Chenske, this max adds up to 6.46 square kilometers. The biggest four collapse is over at the, 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 the Uspenivka eastern flank, where the major collapse of the front line, the salience around here, um, adds up to 22.53 square kilometers. This is the biggest for the past 24 hours. And uh, the Velika Nova Silka sector is just above half, where the the collapsing front line at Rosdone and uh, Velika Novosilka combines to around 13.23 square kilometers. So these are the front line changes report for the past 24 hours. Do press the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next update.